Hello friends, greetings from Iceland. We have more updates for you about the ongoing situation in Grindavik after the eruption started. As you know, eruption lasted very briefly. It started on the 14th of January and stopped after two days. So it was a short-lived eruption. And in the course of the eruption, very interesting events took place. First of all, the Thorbjörn volcano, the big mountain, which is um, just about Grindavik, and you have Blue Lagoon on the other side here, you see it, is moving. It has moved 20 centimeters to the west, perhaps even more now, because this article is from the 14th of January, and it's six days since it was published, but the mountain moved somewhat to the west. Of course, it's not visible to the eye, but it is detectable from satellites and GPS systems. This was reported by Icelandic uh, newspaper The Fauv. Uh, <clears throat> when the meeting began, Civil Defense Scientific Conference, uh, we see that Thorbjörn had has moved 15 centimeters to the west, and when I speak to you now, it has become 20 centimeters. So uh, we have a divergence taking place here. In Grindavik, and I will show you more pictures uh, as, uh, which are related to the subsidence of land as land is diverging, uh, uh, Grindavik city is sinking down in between. As on the company Loft Minder, which translates as aerial pictures, aerial photography, did the measurements and published this map of Grindavik area and Reykjanes Peninsula. This is uh, around Grindavik, the whole area. And here you see the subsidence of land in Grindavik and also the land rise. The bluish areas are the subsidence up to two meters or two and a half meters. The most bluish areas, it's the deepest depression, the deep, deepest subsidence, while the yellowish and greenish is the land rise. So you see Grindavik is subsiding down into the ocean and here in Fagradalsfjall to the right, we see a land rise. Also in Svartsangi to the north of Grindavik, we see land is rising. But in between, here we have a so called tectonic rift valley in a way forming up. A sim similar process is taking place in Thingvatler National Park, a popular stop on Golden Circle Route. There you have a massive depression, massive tectonic rift valley, and as the tectonic plates are moving apart in Thingvatler, the land is subsiding down, it sank by 50 meters in the course of last centuries. Similar process is taking also place here. Here you see a kind of a mini tectonic rift valley forming up. And as I told you, all the volcanic eruptions um, in Iceland, all the earthquakes are caused by the movement of tectonic plates. And we have here a tectonic rift running through Grindavik, which is causing these uh, disturbances. So the the most of um, uh, subsidence and is in the western part of Grindavik. We will zoom in and take a better look. Yeah, here you see it. So western part of Grindavik, we see most of subsidence, which took place, by the way, on the 10th of uh, um, in early November when we had those um, earthquakes swarm. Uh, but uh, after the current eruption, which took place on the 14th of January, we see a new subsidence forming uh, taking place here in the eastern part of the valley. This uh, depression, this new subsidence to the east, uh, in the eastern part of Grindavik took place after the uh, latest eruption or in the cause of it. So we have a new depression forming up here to the east, and the area in between is, uh, we don't see so much uh, subsidence in the middle of Grindavik, so it's kind of strange. Uh, here you see the green thing, the lava, uh, there, there we had uh, the fissure forming up here very close to Grindavik, which destroyed three houses. Uh, there was an interview with one of the house owners. Uh, the the two-story building which got destroyed by the lava and it was an, an inhabited house. The owner planned to move there um, in November 
just before the earthquake started he finished it almost everything except the electrical works he planned to finish them um, and he planned to move in there and he spent two years of his life to build this house so it's very sad very tragic situation that the person lost his future home where he planted his life and invested a great deal of his money and savings into building it and it's all um, been destroyed by lava which is a kind of um, a lesson for us that we um, temporarily residents here on earth and we never know what is going to happen to us and we should live day by day as our lives goes um, and not to rely too much on the future just live in the present so here you see the lava which spill it over to the west of Grindavik and uh, you know we lost one life here the person fell into the fish you the worker who was working to to fix those fishes and it took place here uh, where you, we have the most of substance uh, in the bluish uh, area right after the eruption after it stopped we see a land rise again at Swartz Engie close to Blue Lagoon and the earth started rising at much faster speed here you can see it to the right side than previously so we might see another volcanic eruption in the area when there is enough magma accumulated uh, in the chamber so the chamber is getting refilled and it is a, it is a fact because otherwise the land wouldn't rise so magma keeps coming and it's likely to break through again I, I don't wouldn't exclude uh, that it would if it would break further south in Grindavik or perhaps further north hard to say and very hard to say when exactly but the thing can go on for some years here you see a map of the new subsidence valley which formed as a result of the most recent eruption on the 14th 15th of January the bluish area here in the eastern part of Grindavik and precisely this uh, part had been uh, declared a danger zone and the uh, people local residents are not allowed to return to their houses precisely in this area but uh, keys had been delivered to the owners of houses in the eastern part of the city and I can show you this so people who live in the red and green areas and also light blue were given the keys uh, to their houses but uh, the residents of the orange area where we had where we had some houses destroyed by the lava and where, where we have the new depression valley forming up formed up uh, and of the dark blue area they are not allowed to get the keys um, and return to their houses